Oh yeah, can I um can I have a large pizza with some matcha, please? Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. What what are you doing? How's everybody doing? Hey fashionistas of the road, hey fashion icons. It is me, Dave. I am back with another video. And today I have something different. Today I have something special. I'm gonna be showing you guys my sunglass collection. I have a lot of sunglasses and I feel like sunglasses are very important in outfits nowadays. I have a lot of trendy sunglasses, I have a lot of laid back chill sunglasses. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, a lot of my sunglasses are black. Matter of fact, all of them but two are black. That's crazy, I just realized that. All of my sunglasses are black. I have this, you see everything that I wear is black. I have an obsession with black. And I think I need to fix that. I think I need to have more color in my fashion. That's one thing I'm working on, but that's not important. Before we start the video, I just wanna say if you're new, thank you for coming onto this video, and I'm glad that you found it, and I hope you enjoy it if you stay. But yeah, a little bit about me. I do fashion videos, lifestyle, and I just be me on here. I do vlogs and stuff like that. But if you guys wanna see the daily me, and behind the scenes, go to my Instagram. I'm gonna have that below in the description, as well as my TikTok on there as well. I post reels on there daily, so if you guys wanna watch them, down in the description. But we're gonna get right to the video, and yeah, enjoy. So the first pair of glasses I'm gonna start off with, they're black, of course, are these very skinny sunglasses. From certain angles, you can kind of see, like you can see my eyes if I do this, like from the side. I love these glasses so much. I'll call these the Matrix glasses right here. I have a long coat on. Stuff like that. You know, they just look like I'm from the Matrix, but I really love these. They're very skinny. And you can wear them any different kind of way. You can wear them like this, you can wear them like this, or, you know, you can just accessorize them like that. And up close, if you want to see. But yeah, we're on to the next one. Next pair of sunglasses, I have this in silver as well. Um, this is my favorite pair of sunglasses. I wear these the most. In case you guys didn't know, I don't know if you guys know, these are the Balenciaga sunglasses that everybody are wearing. Um, when I show you the silver ones, you'll probably recognize them more. I wear this the most, as well as the silver one. I don't know, I just love wearing them. But, they are not the real Balenciaga sunglasses, they are the dupes, because I'm not rich yet. I don't wanna be stupid and you know spend all my money on the sunglasses. I, I'm pretty sure these sunglasses are like $600. But I love these sunglasses, they're just different. You can wear them with anything. You can wear them with suits, you know, you can wear them with streetwear, you know, but I love these sunglasses a lot. They're very cool. I'm gonna show you guys the silver ones too as well. These, oh, they're, they're so nice, like, I don't know. They look like alien glasses too, I get that a lot, but I don't care. I feel like I am from a different planet. I'm an extraterrestrial. I don't know, they're just kind of fun, you know? They're just different. When I do get the money, I want to get the Valencia, the real Balenciaga ones. So the next pair, this is another fun pair. Um, this is another dupe, because I'm not rich. Um, these are the Prada, um, so I don't know the name of them. They're the Prada sunglasses, but they're dupes, they're not real. And I don't wear these that much anymore because where I live in Florida, it gets very hot, so they peel off a little bit. Like the, the way, I guess the way that people made them. Um, they have a metallic, they're plastic, but I think the real ones are metallic. You see right there, they're peeling off from the heat. And then in other areas, they're peeling off. You can't really see, but yeah, I don't wear these as much, but I really love them because they just, they're so dope, you know? They have a little metallic look and they fit my face so good. But I'm pretty sure the real ones are actually like metal. This is kind of a similar shape to the Balenciaga dupes. That's why I like them, but on to the next. All right, now another pair. I got these from Shein. Please do not be mad at me. I know it's fast fashion. But this was a while ago before I knew about that. I wasn't really familiar with the way that stuff is produced. I don't really wear these as much because they're kind of feminine to me. Um, but I can still get away with them, you know? I don't know. I like them. They're just a pair of glasses you can wear with anything. That's why I like them. They're like an oval shape. I don't know if it's because it's feminine or it's just the way it fits my face. They're okay, you know, I guess I can say, but here's these, you know, a little nice oval shaped sunglass. But yeah, on to the next. Another pair, I like these, they're very edgy. I don't know the shape of it, but it's like kind of squarish, but triangular at the same time. I like these sunglasses. Let me give you a close up. They kind of like go out wide on this side, on like the top of my face. It's kind of like that disco-y type like sunglass. And they're very dark, like when you're looking at them, you can't see in my eye. Like they, like a lot of these sunglasses I have, you can see through them, but these are very dark. And another reason why I like to wear sunglasses is so people don't look in my eyes. You know, they kind of hide my identity. It kind of makes me look mysterious and I like that. It's a good accessory and it protects your eyes from the sun. That's why I wear sunglasses. But honestly, the main reason why I wear sunglasses is so people can't see me. I, and I swear I'm not anti-social, you know, sometimes I just wanna, you know, just feel laid back, you know. And I don't know, sunglasses are just cool, you know. I feel like they're just, I feel like you have to have sunglasses. Sunglasses are a must-have. Wear sunglasses, everybody. 
build a collection is important. Now these sunglasses are pretty basic. A lot of people have these. They're like the rectangle square shape. Yeah, these are just basic. Put them on. You guys already know about these sunglasses. You know? But you can wear them with anything. That's why I like them. On to the next. I would have to say these are like my favorite for the type of sunglasses they are. They're not necessarily fully like sunglasses. You can see my eyes through them, but they're like tinted by focals. The frame is like a, it has like an amber but blue color on them, but when I put them on, they look like, like clear. I don't know how to explain it, but it's still kind of dark tinted. But they are Ray-Bans. And I got them from Ross Dress For Less. They had them marked down, so I got them from Ross Dress For Less, and I was like, I don't know, I just fell in love with them. I saw them in the display case, and I was like, oh my God, I gotta have these glasses. And me, I'm not really a name brand person. You know, I saw the Ray-Ban, I was like, you know what? They're only $20, and I think usually they probably sell for like $80 but I had to get them. It makes me feel like I'm in Europe or Italy. This is a very good sunglass. You can wear it with some stylus pieces. This is probably my favorite pair. I'm gonna not say that. No, I'm not gonna say that because there's some other glasses in here that I think I like the most. Or this is a good contender. I'm gonna put them in order and tell you at the end, but this is my number one contender for right now. These are a sporty sunglass. I got these from Sheen. Again, I'm sorry, you know. Matter of fact, I got like two other pairs. No. Yeah, three other pairs from Sheen, but that's besides the point. And a lot of these Sheen sunglasses were under like, I think they were like under $5, which I, is why I bought them, which is you no know, bad, but oh well. But yeah, this is just a regular sporty sunglass, you know. They're kind of the same shape as these Balenciaga sunglasses in a way. Yeah, I don't really wear these as much. I used to wear them a lot, but I don't really wear them that much. I don't know why I need to start wearing them more. These, I don't really wear these at all. Or, matter of fact, I just started wearing them um, because they're kind of feminine. I got these because I saw Hailey Bieber had um, the Yves Saint Laurent versions of these. Um, I think they're called the Mica. And I was looking for like similar pairs of glasses that look like that. They look good, but they're kind of feminine on me, I feel like. Which is cool, but that's not kind of really my style. But they just didn't really fit me. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I like them, but I don't, know, I don't think they really fit me as well. So I don't wear them as much. You know, sometimes I'll put them on if I just feel like it sometimes, but yeah. They're a cool pair of sunglasses, kind of girly, you know, but they're different too. You know, maybe that can be different, you know, from everybody, but on to the next one. I kind of saved the best two for last, and I have my contender over here. I believe these are Duke versions of the Balenciaga sunglass. They're like a concept sunglass from Balenciaga, I believe. But I saw Kim Kardashian wearing these, um in a picture and some other celebrities wearing them. I think these are actually really sunglasses. Um, they're just like a concept from a designer brand and oh my God, I love them. Balenciaga has a bunch of sunglasses. They're like mask, butterfly sunglasses or something like that. But I like these, they're kind of, I don't know, they're very different, you know, they're like a masky sunglass. Yeah, they make me look like a superhero, you know, with the mask on. But that's kind of the style now, guys. These are 10 out of 10. And I haven't worn these a lot because I just got them not too long ago and I haven't found the outfits to wear with them. Well, I have the outfits to wear with them, but I haven't worn those outfits yet. But these are very decent. I'm gonna zoom, oh my God, these sunglasses are so nice. You know, they're just different. And I feel like they fit my face so good. Me, usually I don't like big sunglasses, but these fit me very good. I like edgy stuff like that. I'm gonna put this as, matter of fact, I'm gonna put this to the first contender. This one is gonna go in the second place. And I have this pair, actually, I don't know, it's gonna be a hard decision. But this is first for right now. Oh, and another thing is, when I put these on, they do not fall off. Like, I can shake my head and everything, and they just, they're stuck to my face. Kind of like a mask. But, yeah. First contender. And last but not least, this might be the, I don't know, this is a hard decision. But these are kind of similar concept. You know, they don't shake on my face, you know. They kind of cover my whole face. These, I call them my people watcher glasses, because, like, I can look this direction. You guys can't see my eyes moving, but I can look in, you know, those directions. But people don't notice. You know, and kind of on the side too, you can't really see my eyes from the side. Full protection, full protection, guys. These are a dupe of the Acne Studio sunglasses. I'm gonna put them up on the screen. Um, they are the acetate, the Acne Studios acetate sunglasses. And those sunglasses, I was willing to break my pockets for those glasses. They are like so different to me, and they're just so eccentric and edgy to me. I just fell in love with them. Um, I saw this one influencer, her name's Sausage Lord. I'm gonna put her up on the screen, shout out to her. She has very good fashion. I feel like she's one of the people I look up to in fashion a lot. But those Acne Studio sunglasses did not even come in black. They came in like a creamy white color. Balenciaga came out with a bunch of mask sunglasses. Gucci came out with a bunch of mask sunglasses. Prada. A lot of these designer brands are starting to lean more towards these big, you know, mask looking like sunglasses. And I'm starting to like this trend a lot. I was willing to break my pockets for these sunglasses. But I don't know if they released them like a 
exclusively, but it's like I went on a website they were sold out. I went on Depop. I went on every website I can find to get these sunglasses and they were sold out everywhere. I believe they were selling for like $300, $400, maybe $500 in that range and I don't care. I was willing to break my pockets for them because they were so different. Nobody, like, you know those trends you just want to hop on? Or it's not even a trend thing. I just wanted to, you know, wear them. They're just so dope. But I got the dupe versions of them. And they're kind of like off a little bit because they're more like, I don't know, those are more round. These are kind of like curved in a little bit, but I still like them, you know? you know, It makes me look like an alien, but it's different. I like goofy stuff like that. You know what, I think this is an easy decision. I think these are, these are first place for sure. Okay, I got it already. So, first, all right. Oh, second, and then third place. Oh. Actually, okay, third, no, third, fourth, boom. I have my four contenders here. I'm not going up anymore. No fifth, sixth, or seventh, or eighth. But yeah, guys, that's my sunglass collection. I'm gonna leave all of the um, dupes up on the screen for you guys if you guys wanna be on a budget and don't wanna spend a bunch of money on these sunglasses. I hope you guys can find what's right for you in fashion, what's right for your accessories and everything, but have a good one. Stay blessed, stay you, stay fashionable, become a fashion icon. I inspire you to do that. And yeah, just be you. I'm out. Oh, you're still watching? What's 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 going on? I didn't see you there. What the hell? Okay, let me I didn't even, let me turn it off. Bye guys.